we they started getting messages this morning about tracks that they were following and they were following south and um, the person was reporting back to to our command post that they were following these tracks and we we're encouraging them to continue to follow them uh, it was about 10 30 we we're about ready to do a press conference up here when we got notification that um, that they may have found them and uh, at that point in time uh, there was a huge sigh of relief and then we found out that they were a-ok -okay. uh, it was uh, just a, a, a huge relief on all of our parts And uh, and we're just so thankful and um, and elated that uh, that again we were they were found they were found safe and again 1.4 miles away from their house and this was rugged territory this is um, you know extreme environment and how they you know we're out there for 44 hours is pretty amazing but it shows the resilience of people that actually grow up in this community uh, these girls were um, you know have a definitely a survival story to tell so we're looking forward to hearing from them So the information we gathered is that they were trained through 4-H, uh, through outdoor survival, and, uh, and we believe that that did pay a part, but we're only speculating right now. We'll, we'll wait to interview them and, and understand the start, what the last 44 hours was like. Did you find the lady and the boy that came up? No. Uh, uh, the young, the younger people? There was a lady and her son that were with it. Uh, I think so. I think so. Yeah, I think there was a woman. We have so many of these kinds of efforts that end up in tears and tragedy. And today we can all shed tears of joy. Their calling, their purpose in life, and to safeguard the citizens, especially the youth. And uh, sometimes in this job, we see a lot.